Milan is officially back. Another victory, another clean sheet, 2 nothing victory against Champions League rivals Atalanta at San Siro. What a great performance, especially in the first half. Tia annihilating Haaland, uh, one of the most informed strikers in the Serie A. Lukman as well. We didn't see him, we didn't hear him. Not one shot on net the entire game. Uh, Magna officially back between the post. Ibra gets the last 15 minutes. So nice to see him on the field. 41 years old. But uh, this game is decided, especially in the first half. What a great performance. Uh, Theo's goal. Theo's goal was something out of this world. Yes, it hits the post. It hits Musso. Then it goes back in. But uh, Giroud does la sponda al volo outside of the box. Venomous shot, guys. Uh, beautiful, beautiful goal. Gives the lead to Milan one nothing. Uh, I found Tonali, Krunic, very involved in the game. Tonali in the first half was everywhere on the field, winning every single loose ball, winning every single battle, um, cutting out some passes. And in the second half, Krunic does the same thing. A great performance by him as well. Um, as much as Milan was dominant in the first half, uh, Atalanta gets a bit more possession, a bit more ball in the second half. But the best chances are all created by Milan. Messias gets an opportunity. I don't know how you miss that. Like five meters from the net, he completely misses it. He was all by himself. Uh, Leao as well. Instead of attacking the ball, he was just slowly eh, misses the shot completely. And at the end, a uh, beautiful pass, true pass from um, Leao to Messias, who uh, scores a goal, a second in a row for him. Uh, so overall, a great performance by Milan. Uh, not much to say about this team today, except that defensively, finally, they're gaining some ground. Magna's back. You could see they had more confidence playing the ball back, giving him the ball. But the fact that Tia is playing so well in the center of the defense allows Tomori to go on the left-hand side. And that makes a big deal because Tomori, as a, a center mid, as being the center of the three, wasn't having a lot of success, guys. And now with Tia performing well... Even Tomori today had a good game. Kalulu had a good game. Messias, besides the goal, uh, putting a lot of work in. A lot of running, even defensively. So, uh, very well. Very, very well. Teo on the left-hand side as a midfielder is everywhere on the field, guys. He is everywhere in the midfield. He has the same lane as Leao, which confuses the hell out of defenders. Um, beautiful. Beautiful to watch. I was expecting more from Atalanta today, especially with Hoyland, with Lukman. Uh, even when they added Boga, Boga and Muriel, uh, they didn't create anything. He seemed dangerous when they had possession. But that final shot, that final something was missing on their part. Uh, great work from the Milan defense, like I said. But even the midfield, Tonali, Krunic, uh, so dominant today. And like I said, a Milan of old. Uh, passing the ball, finding the lanes, creating some chances. But, but, I got to say one thing. We're missing too many good opportunities. And one day it's going to come to bite us in the you-know-what. Why? Because when you're one nothing up and you miss three, three, three clear occasions to score a goal, it usually comes back to bite you. Today, it didn't. Messiah scored a beautiful goal as well. And so, uh, Milan guys... Great performance, back, we're tied with Inter in the second spot. Like I said, fourth uh, straight clean sheet, three in Serie A, one with the Champions League, one against Tottenham. And it's nice to see everybody back on a certain level. The only one I found a bit disappointing today, Leao. Leao jogging and not running today. Like you could see that he wants to score this goal, he wants to start scoring again, but uh, he needs to pick up the pace a bit. Let me know what you think, write in the comments, like and subscribe.